Morning. Morning. <clears throat> chai? I could get used to waking up to your chai. Sure. Sleep well? Not really. You bolted out of that bar last night. Is Amit still asleep? How are you feeling? You look a little... Just a little slow. Happens when I've had one too many to drink. When's your flight back to New York? 7 p.m. Now you quit your job. Maybe you'll become one of those roving photographers. It's a thing, right? Mira, can we talk? No. We can't. <sighs> I don't know. I've been traveling a lot lately. But if I did, maybe I'd take some photos along the way. Want to join me? Any places you've been dying to visit? Well, if we're making Kayali Palau... Kayali Palau? Castles in the air. Italy. The Cinque Terre. The Amalfi Coast? I've never been there. I don't know. I've never been to Italy either. Should I book the tickets? <laughs> book tickets to where? Mor morning, babe. Did you want chai? It's Saturday. I, I thought you were going to sleep in. Do you need to go into work again? Not going into work. It's Rob's last day. I can give up a Saturday morning lie-in for him. Want a coffee, man? I'm good. Still working on this tea. Ah, Mira's special chai. When's your flight? It's tonight. Flying out of Billy Bishop. Ew, I still can't get used to those little planes. Ah, uh, they're fine for short flights. Hey, maybe we can fly into New York for a weekend, Mira. Been a while since we visited the Big Apple. We can even check out your place, Rav, and that artist studio. Uh, how was the show last night? Fine. <laughs> you don't sound too convinced. Who was the artist again? Micheline Thomas. Never heard of her. Was it any good? It was good. She's considered a rising star in the art world. I could definitely see why. Well, she must have been good. You two got back later than even me. I was fast asleep by the time you both came in. I didn't even wake when you finally got into bed, Mira. So, what about it? What about what? Should we visit New York? Maybe Rav can show us around. We can even do the artsy stuff you like to do. Check out the museums. What is it called? The Met? Or was it Natural History? If Rav will still be in New York, I'm off to the gym. Bro, what's her deal? What happened? Nothing, man. I quit my job. You did what? Dude! What the hell? What happened? Nothing happened. I just... I don't know. Got burnt out, I guess. Burnt out? What are you, like 60? <laughs> what do you mean, burnt out? This is the time for you to rake it in. Ugh. He gets old, guy. What gets old? Flying business class around the world? Hooking up with hot women on your paid vacations? That's not what life is about. You know this. Is it final? I handed in my two weeks notice before I flew here. You're not joking, right? I'm giving it to you straight, man. Hey, everything okay with your family? How are uncle and auntie? I, I meant to ask earlier. I, I, I just... I ne Mom and dad are fine. They're happy. Plus, Sonia's there to take care of them. Yes, Sonia has saved your sorry ass more than once. How is she? How's her work going? She's doing well. Following the roadmap. So she's going for it. Why isn't it good enough for you? I just want to do something with my life, you know? What else is there, though? Wait a minute. Is that what it is? When was the last time you got laid? Need some help? I can introduce you to some fine women. AJ has a whole list of them. He's always getting me to slide into their DMs. Who talks like that? Why are you sliding into DMs? It's cool, man. Just being AJ's wingman. Do I even want to know? It's just casual flirting. Well, maybe I need a mirror in my life. What do you mean? I don't know. Someone to share experiences with? Don't you have friends in New York? I have friends. But these last few days, hanging with Mira and you, it's been good. Help me figure out some stuff. <laughs> like what? Got some projects I've been thinking about for a long time. Tell me one project. Well, 
Remember that mobile library idea? You gotta let that one go. Not gonna work. Who goes to the library anymore? Exactly. Most people have a smartphone, especially in India. Dude, YouTube is huge. So what if there was online content aimed for street kids available on YouTube? You'd need too much infrastructure. Like Mira could help me figure out some of the curriculum stuff. I think Mira's got a lot on her plate. Don't think she'll be too much help to you. I just meant maybe she can help me think through some ideas. Look, dude, I don't know what you're playing at with Mira, but leave my wife out of it. Isn't it her decision? She can do what she wants. And you know what Mira wants. Jim's clothes for cleaning. What's going on here? Hey, babe. Not much. Rav was just leaving for the airport. I was? I'm a... Stop. What are you doing? Kissing my wife. <laughs> okay, lover boy. Calm down. You almost bit my lip off. And you have coffee breath. I suppose you prefer Rav's chai breath. Forget it. I'm taking a shower. See you next time, Rav. What the hell, Rav? Mira. Did you say something? No, but he's mad. We talked about you, about what you want. And how would either of you know what I want? Does Ahmed know about last night? I don't mean that. No, he doesn't. I promise. I, <sighs> I'm sorry you have to deal with this. This is not what I intended. What were your intentions? I didn't come with any preset plans, if that's what you mean. I just needed a break. Ugh. It just felt like you were struggling, too. I know that feeling. It's true. That I'm dealing with some mixed emotions. But that's our problem to figure out. I had no business bringing up the past. It was selfish. I didn't think through the consequences. I kissed you. I was drunk. I could have stopped. Stopped at the second glass, walked away from the kiss. But why didn't I do that? Sometimes it's best not to read too much into things. What do you mean? Is this another one of your regrets now? No. I've wanted to kiss you for a long time. But I have no business intruding in your life like this. <laughs> oh, so you no longer want to run away with me. That was fast. I would love to run away with you. But that's easy for me to say. I'm not the one who's married. I regret adding more stress in your life. That was not my intention. You were right. Right about what? About me needing to think about what I want. Not living my life according to what Amit wants. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. Amit and I need to talk. Mira, I didn't mean to create a mess. I, I should leave. But your flight isn't until evening. I'll wander around the city for a little bit. Yeah, maybe maybe that's a good idea. Can I give you a hug? Just a hug? Mira! I can't find a fresh towel! Did we run out? Mira. What? Life is full of second chances. But we have to decide to take them. Rav, I need to be alone. Get one from the dryer! Bye, Mira. <sighs> Where's Rav? He left. What's going on? Is everything okay? What's going on between you and Rav? Excuse me? I've seen the way you smile at him, checking him out when you thought I wasn't looking. Are you serious? I was never checking him out. That's just ridiculous. What happened last night? What do you mean? Something happened. What has Rav been telling you about this ridiculous idea he has? <laughs> Educational content for street kids? It's pretty smart, actually. You know, meeting the kids where they are. Still need support, though. What? And you're gonna give it to them? To Rav? You're gonna run off and become some kind of a consultant on this <laughs> cockamamie idea? What? I didn't say that. What happened last night, Mira? Rav can't just be talking bullshit like this out of nowhere. So what happened? What did he say? You're stalling. So that you can get your story straight? Not a chance. Did you fuck him? What? No. It was just a kiss. We were drunk. I made a mistake. It shouldn't have happened. 
The problem is between you and me. We should be figuring it out together. I didn't realize we were having problems. You must have realized it too. Like you said, we can't be boyfriend-girlfriend forever. Because we're married. We've grown up. No, because we need to work on our relationship. Just because we're married doesn't mean you get a free pass. Oh, this is my fault. Okay. I said we need to work on our relationship. If you still want to sustain the relationship, that is. Because I gotta say, Amit, lately it doesn't feel like you want to see me at all. Who else do you think I'm busting my ass working for? I get that you think you're doing this for us, but you never bother to sit down with me and discuss it. I admit I didn't put in the effort either. Oh, oh uh, glad to learn it's not all my fault. I never said that. Like I said, I made a mistake. Last night. You're not the only one who, like you said, made a mistake. I've made a couple. Late nights at work, a lot of stress. Things got a little out of hand. Hamid! What? You're the only one allowed to have fun? I said it was a mistake. What you're saying is totally different. I guess Rav has always been interested in you, Mira. But I went after you. I got you. <laughs> I am not a possession for you to acquire. I decided to be with you also, remember? Or did you forget the part where I agreed to marry you? The point is that you did marry me. Not Rav, who was too much of a wuss to even ask you out. You need to figure out how to end it. I need to figure out if I should stay. With you. I'm going out for a walk. You can't walk away! Watch me. Mira? All set to go? Uh, yeah. I, I travel light, remember? Are you okay? I can't believe it's just been three days. Uh, yeah, I have that effect on people. You are incorrigible. Where are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Just needed to take a walk, take a breath. So, New York, and then? Still have two weeks at work. I'm sure there's a goodbye lunch or two to grip my teeth through. <laughs> Sounds painful. I'll survive. Then comes the tough part. Figuring out the next steps. Do I keep the New York apartment? Or do I just move to India for a while? See if I can get started on the project? Or something else? Sounds exciting. I wasn't joking, Mira, when I asked if you could help me. I'm serious about the educational program. If you ever wanted to get away, think through things a bit, I could offer you a place to stay. No strings attached? I like you, Mira. But I would never force you to do anything you don't want to do. Thanks for the offer. It's good to know I have options. Uh, I'll think about it. Fuck up promise? <laughs> Fuck up promise. It's good to hear you smile. I'm in Scarborough, actually. Scarborough? Really? Getting dosa? Uh, well, I wanted to come to a place that reminds me of who I am. Or was. Uh, I don't, I don't know. It's been a weird couple of days, Rav. I need to clear my head, talk with Ahmed, figure things out. If there's anything I can do. You think you've done enough yet, huh? <laughs> I'm good. I have a good support system. My family, friends, and... and you, Rav. You do? Did you get your work finished? What work? The work you've taken time off for. The past week? Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't totally disrupt everything then. You didn't. Like I said, Amit and I have been... Yeah, I just didn't realize. So, uh, thank you, I guess. I would have never known. Look, he's not a bad guy. I just, I don't know why he can't see what's right in front of him. Are you still defending your friend? I guess it's true what they say. Rose before... That's not true. I'm just saying... <sighs> You're amazing, Mira. You deserve better. You're right. That's the main conclusion I've arrived at. I choose me. Hold on. Where are you right now? Funny you should ask. I'm also in Scarborough. I think I see you. Is that you? I'm waving. Do you see me? I see you.